Hey you guys, it's Diane with 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for August 2021. Let's go in Pisces and see what message your spirit team has for you. I have meditated over these cards and I shuffled them already for you. Just so you guys know. I want to remind you guys that this reading is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Okay. All right, Pisces. I don't know why I keep setting that down. We have the Knight of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So this is your forward movement to um, move quickly through <laughs> the headaches and the drama and the conflicts and the things that will like to hold you back. I feel like um, coming from the Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords here, Pisces, you may be receiving a lot of unpleasant nudes, uninvited criticism <laughs> um, or advice. Um, some of you guys are dealing with some legal matters since we're dealing with the Swords energy that's coming in here. Um, and a lot of you guys may be dealing with a lot of gossip or talking behind your back okay that's what i'm feeling here and spirit is really wanting you to refocus your energy to know your own power here okay they're saying choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional ones and you guys should expect um sudden changes or unexpected changes to happen i feel like this is happening for you mentally not um mentally first and then in a physical way um that's what I feel here, Pisces. I feel like you may receive some news or you become aware of a situation that you have to guard yourself over or speak up um, for yourself. Okay, that's what it feels like here. Let's go into your cards. So, uh, Pisces, you guys have passion coming in here. Passion isn't confined to sexual energy. Life is meant to be felt don't hold back. Some of you guys, this is with a partner. Others, this is just people that don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but like to spread a lot of gossip and cause a lot of drama towards you. This may be people that um, are jealous of you here. Um, or they just have a je jealous spirit and they don't like to see others achieve anything or be happy. Okay, this is a people that I feel like you need to keep your eyes open for um, and really put your boundaries up and get to know what the motive, what the what the T is before you involve yourself um, or put forth any energy in this gossip or drama. So the card is just saying, make a choice not to involve yourself in this. This card um, is telling you not to um, fall for uh, any producers of negative energy okay that it could potentially affect your spirit here they're saying if you're dealing with drama don't involve yourself basically okay you have course correct that's coming in here if an obstacle or diversion has interrupted your plans this card is here to assure you that the delay is providential bringing an opportunity to pause and reassess in order to fine tune your direction. So for some of you guys, this person is very close to your home. Um, that's what I'm seeing or close to your family or someone in your family. This card is saying home um, It's time to renovate or change something in your environment um, or it's time to move home here. Let's see what's going on because this is it's kind of crazy. They're really pointing to a connection or a relationship and it's involving your home. So be aware of who you have in your home, who you're talking to about your home, your business that you're putting out there. Be careful um, of others' motives, okay? You have the Two of Cups showing up here, Pisces, as your energy, and you also have the Ten of Cups that is crossing you here. That's why I feel like this is someone that is close to you, someone that you know. Let's get let's get more clarity on this. 
I feel like whoever this individual is, they may cause a lot of drama. Or uh, you may have a very stressful relationship with this person. They may make you very worried or upset. Um, a lot here. Okay, you have the Hierophant card, the Judgment card coming in. Seven of Wands here in the Temperance card. They're telling me you need peace from some conflict that you're dealing with. You also need to stand up for yourself here, Pisces. That's what I was talking about with the Page of Swords. You speaking your mind, exercising your throat chakra energy here, okay? And really standing up for yourself. I feel with the Hierophant card and the Judgment card, uh, I'm not going to get too deep in who this is you're having a relationship with because I feel like because this is a general reading, it could be anyone that you hold close to you or have close to you. I'm, I'm <clears throat> telling you that because of the Hierophant card. It feels like someone that is um, that you care for here in your life. But I feel like with the judgment, th there's going to be change in your relationship. Either you're going through an awakening of... Um, the energy and the time and the attention that you're putting towards a relationship and who is really not putting that much time, attention or effort into the relationship here. There's going to be an assessment or a review of this person's character and um, what they bring to the table. Basically, that's what I'm um, feeling here. OK, so what you should focus on here. To focus on releasing things that don't serve you anymore you have the death card that's coming in it says endings that lead to new beginnings the need to release situations or people that hold you back it's time to go through this transformation this spiritual transformation for some of you guys some of you um if you're not moving home or uh, moving from your home or needing to relocate, then maybe this is the way that you um, act in the relationship or your mindset or how much you're giving out to this person, um, but they're not giving back to you equally. I feel like that energy is there, like, like someone's not giving back equally or they have jealous tendencies towards you in some way. Okay. In the past here, I feel like you've put a lot of energy and effort into the relationship that you have with this person. Okay, With the Seven of Pentacles. Let's clarify this past. Ooh. For some of you, this is a soulmate twin flame energy that's coming in here someone you gave a lot of time and attention to someone that you were always available for that's what i feel anytime that they called you moved and gave them exactly what um they needed but the ten of cups is crossing you and i feel in some way it, it is a challenge that you are faced with here and they're wanting you to correct your course and release something uh, that may be um, draining you. I'm talking about the Page of Swords, you guys, earlier, and here it is. I did not see it sitting there, but it's here in the future, and it's telling you clearly there needs to be a change with the butterflies that you see coming in here, Pisces, okay? Um, and this is a time for you to stand up for yourself. They want you to not uh, make decisions and I, I don't say this often, and when I have to switch it up, I will, okay? They don't want you to make decisions from the heart. They want you to logically make decisions going forward here, okay? And what's logical, because I feel like there's this need for you to um, grow from this experience that you had here and make better decisions moving forward. So speak up for yourself. The card says you need to be blunt. OK, and you're you're you need to be blunt because you know what's happening in this connection here. OK, you have insight or insight is coming towards you where you um, possibly have to speak up for yourself and make a different take a different course of action. You have the full card that's coming in. OK, they're letting you know that you need to trust yourself and trust your intuition. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith go towards this new start you have the eight of wands coming in i feel like this is the second time the first one is sitting right here and they're letting me know uh that this is 
time for you to make moves for yourself. It's time to work on your own dreams, your own desires here this week. You need to uh, really focus on all of the opportunities that um, that are available to you. And they don't want you to doubt your abilities here and fear moving towards uh, the unknown here with the magician card. They're saying that you have everything that you need. You just need to believe in yourself to take the steps that you need to take or make the decision here um, to allow change to come in. For a message here for Pisces. So I feel like this week they're wanting you to focus on freeing yourself from restrictions here. Even those that you may have posed on yourself, you have imperfection as your last message here. Some of you guys, this is a, a challenge, okay? I can vibe with this, that you try to have some type of perfection um, and a lot of control over your life, okay? But I feel like they're letting me know that this is life. You go through ups and downs here, but they still want you to focus on the gifts that you have and focus on the things that you can't control here. Um, and trust in your intuition because it's guiding you through this journey. Your card is saying, in our goal-driven world, we can seek to blame whenever things do not run smoothly. And yet it is our own imperfection that make our human lives the perfect vessel for the evolution of our soul. And you want your soul to grow in this lifetime. That's why we're here. Okay, to gain experience. The card it says, um, strive to be the best that you can be, cherish your mistakes and those of others, and honor the learning to be found in every experience here. I'm not saying you need to sacrifice yourself for needlessly for someone, okay? Um, but I am, like I said, you need to let things go that don't serve you any longer. Things that may uh, be holding you back from other uh, possibilities. Just learn the lesson and continue to move forward here, okay, in the best way that you can. That is your reading, Pisces. That is very interesting. Thank you for letting me read for you today. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because I will be back with you. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.